Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time joining, welcome, I'm your girl Tamika and still tell Mika. So, as I say, if this is your first time joining, don't forget to click on the link and subscribe to my channel. I'll really, really, really appreciate it. Anyways, as you can see based on the title, it's like a whole uh, mental and self-care weekend. So, of course, I'm going to start off with my hair. It is in a terrible condition. Please don't judge me. Um, I have like some glue some hedge control all built up here and all those stuff and also i need to finish removing these off my finger and also do my toenails so wash my hair that's one fingernail and i want to do like uh some facial maybe and all those stuff so yeah it's a mixture of stuff just to take care of myself and of course i want to polish my toenail and all those stuff so yeah so that's what I will be doing for this weekend. Just basically taking care of this beautiful temple that God has made. Right? So come along as we just, you know, enjoy this weekend as much as we can. Alright, I'll see you guys. In also, a bit. I do plan to do some laundries also. So that's a part of my weekend self-care, you know, clean laundry, oughtness, 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 right? <laughs> So I also got this package from Amazon today. So basically you guys are doing a little unboxing also. So like this. And the first thing I got were these um basically elastic band for wig. So basically laying your edges and all those stuff. Um and in the pack you get You get this rat tail comb. It's a little bit bigger than I would owe comb. Also got this brush for my edges. And I don't know why, what the purpose of this, but I also got so this in the set. And then I got basically three of these bands. So yeah, just to lay. Ooh, my edges properly hopefully yeah and plus i got this wig in this cute pink bag like whenever i see them in these cute bags i'm like i'm in love because then it just match my whole aesthetic and all those things so that's really cute so let's open this um okay so So basically in the pack I got this hair. It's a and Ooh this is <laughs> Oh my god Thank God thank you for not sending me any false eyelashes because I think I have enough and I don't wear them that much so I got these cute nails and of course I got this um basically the wig cap and the wig cap is basically black which is nice not brown but wow these nails just saying and the hair is a deep wave 13 by 4 um 12 22 inches so yeah so this is the hair this is it. I won't get into too much detail because that this will basically be in a separate video. But yeah, this is the hair that I got. And of course, I'm going to get it wash. And I'm so happy. Anyway, guys, I need to go and start removing these. So yeah, that's my little unboxing. So guys, I just realized that there were more things in the bag. Um, so this. Oh. And I just bought like for the whole thing. So I got this black one. And also this edge brush. Like I'm definitely going to leave the link of this here down below. So you guys can definitely go check it out. Um, it was like $105. But it was worth it. Um, 
Next, I need to try the hair and then officially I can say it was worth it. So I already started washing my dark clothes. So these are basically the lighter colors. And of course, my laundry bag says life is beautiful. So I just finished removing the twist. So I'm going to go ahead and basically comb my hair out and yeah and watch a movie while i do that so i'm going to watch a movie called bulletproof on netflix just to pass sometimes so i'll see you guys when i'm finished with all of this so this was basically my braiding pattern i had like some jumbo braids around the back and some of this up here and had the me this on it so So the shampoo that I'll be using is this Moisture Boost um, set by Palmas. I'm going to be honest, it's not my favorite, but I still use them because period, I'm not going to waste anything. I spend my money, I'm going to use it, but I'm not going to repurchase it, that's all. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wash it, I already comb up my hair, um, so yeah. So I just added some deep conditioner in my hair and I'm going to go in with my Afro Steam cap for like around 15 minutes or so just to get it, my hair molecules and all those a little stimulated and all those, and kind of give me the salon vibes if you get on if you get on sign so um, I'm going to put this on and I'm going to just turn it to eye So I went ahead with just this braid out um, and I had this to finish it off. So this organic castor, castor oil. Yeah, so um, my plan is to remove these afterwards. So we'll see how they look tomorrow. But yeah, um, and then I'll continue the rest of my weekend maintenance, okay? So I'll see you guys in a bit. So good morning. So before I start any other activity for today, I just wanted to ensure that I not only take care of myself, but continue to take care of my spiritual well-being. So I'm going to start off today with my devotion, um, the Bible verse basically based on the Bible app that I'm following is from Psalms 103. So, um, let me read a portion for you guys. It says, Bless the Lord, who my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, who my soul, forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquity, who healeth all thy disease, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercy 
who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like an eagle, like the eagles. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. And I'll stop there. I'll continue reading, but you guys can definitely go and read um, some more. So I'm going to continue reading and then we'll talk a little bit more, okay? So basically the key verse is, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So it says, In Christ you don't lack a single spiritual blessing you are god's precious child and there is no better father than him you did nothing to deserve his adoption love goodness and mercy you simply said yes to the most wonderful invitation there ever was or will be in ephesian paul writes about some of the spiritual blessings we receive including adoption righteousness grace forgiveness fellowship with god and his people and inheritance the Holy Spirit it says our spiritual blessings are the greatest most important and most benefit beautiful thing in his this life through misery through misery only comes from being void of these heavenly blessing listen he said do you believe these spiritual blessings are all completely yours. Remember that this is just a small sample. It doesn't matter if you have been a Christian for 80 years or for only a day. These truths are never to be taken for granted. Oswald Chamber in basically said, asking challenge Christian, he says, can I face things as they actually are in the light of a reality of Jesus Christ? I do things as they reality destroy my truth in him and put me in panic there isn't anything you need that your heavenly father doesn't already have known about he's concerned about your big needs and even the stuff you think is too petty for a prayer or god is that good so for me personally it's like whenever i'm praying it's more like having a a good conversation with God because we don't have to use big words we don't have to go quoting in certain like this is God just wants us to talk to him so I thought let me show you share this with you you are love God cares for you and it doesn't matter what you're going through God is still present he just wants you to invite him into him into the situation because he's not going to force himself in this situation he wants you to invite him in so um I'm just going to basically wrap up this little part here but I'll do spend some more and just talk to God a little bit more and you should definitely as you're there just talk to him like say father I'm here I'm present and I need you and if you do that trust me just acknowledging that you need him will open a space for him to come in and start working on your behalf as a summary he never promised that it will get easy or the cross you know he, he never promised it will be easy but guess what he promised that help will always be there that he will always be there so you're here you're like okay before you go to the day you're like god send forth your angel let them take charge let them go forth clear the way prevent accident prevent disagreement i'm like hoping the mind of the people that i'll be engaging that they'll be welcoming mighty god and even if they're going through something allow me to sense it, that i can be a blessing by just speaking a word into their life instead of them speaking negativity into my life like it's like you're you know there's a problem before the problem hits you so you're like 
be intentional about your day be intentional about what you do and trust me if we're intentional if we, we do our best to be intentional there can there there will be a difference there will be a difference so i'm just going to finish up here and just like remind myself that i am a child of the king i am is i whatever he has his mind he said it whatever is his is mine i just need to step into it and to like claim it and say it is mine in due season and another thing is that everybody's season is different everybody season is different so the moment you start believing that things will happen like how other mm -mm, it doesn't work like that your season your timing is perfect it might not be perfect in the eyes of man but it's perfect in the eyes of god anyways i'll see you in a bit when i'm like doing the rest of my um weekend um fun activities well self-maintenance okay so i'll be back so i'm trying to decide which nail polish i should use um so i have this one right here this or maybe this one but i want something that is a little bit more summery um kind of so i'm kind of deciding between these two so i'm going to put them on and see which one is right i know this is like a decent color um but this one might be a little bit faint because i put it on my nail right here so it's really faint so these are the two so that i'll be choosing from this one this is really nice because it's like it has like different but i don't think it's really summery maybe it is like you know so i might go with this one just for a week or something change one of my least favorite part of doing my toenail is that i don't know i think i need like a stepping stool because i can never find the right angle to put up my foot and then i'm like usa, usa. but i'm still going to do it so um as i said i'm going with this color i have this gel well recovery so i'm going to use this as a base and then i have this top coat by opi if that's how they pronounce it and i'm going to go ahead and remove clean off my toilet a little bit more then kind of buffer it so the thing can hold better and yeah and maybe you know already clipped them so they're good so just clean it up a little and then i'll start polishing my toenail so this is how my nails look after moving the nails a little busted up and all those stuff so i'm just going to go ahead and file them and basically wear them like this with just applying the nail polish and yeah next week now i can remove them and do something more so i'm just going to buff it a little not too much i think i want a different buffer you know? so different one so just rub it down a little To start my day fresh, um, basically, these are the scent that I'll be going with. So this is champagne sprinkle, and I also and I have some cotton candy, pink, and the perfume, and the cream. So that's my scent for today. 
so yeah um so i'm going to have like a shower and then i'm going to be back these are my nails as i said just going with something simple just like loving myself and when you're spending time with yourself it doesn't have to be crazy it's just so for a few minutes you're just focusing on you instead of everybody around you not being selfish or anything but just on you so yeah just my nails and as i said i'll be changing the color next week so something simple for this week will be nice I'm going to apply some of this um, Tiger Macadamia Oil um, by Certified Organic. So like it has like some little, I don't know what is in the bottom, but yeah. I mostly use this because it's light and then I'll just go here with the cream. So let me show you guys something. So, uh, uh, so it gives you some amount of sheen but it's not like crazy oily then it's yellow and I'll just put Okay, and then I just go in with this and spray it all over my body. Sometimes I like to put it on before I put on the cream, so it's based on how I feel. I'll go about it. So I'm refreshed, so on to. I'm planning on maybe shaving my face, so let's see how I feel about that. Yeah, maybe I should. So that way, when I do put on my makeup, it's not like, but it's okay. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to go in with this um, Full Mash by Grace and Stella. So, just to ensure that my skin is clean, because you're not supposed to shave your face dirty. So, yeah. So I went ahead and put some alcohol in this, so basically, just to ensure that it's clean. And I'm just going to use some of this um, cleansing oil as base, so. So, um, this is how it looks. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go in with this peel off mask. So I'm going to allow that to dry for 15 to 20 minutes 
and then I'll take it off and I think that will basically conclude most of what I had done for myself um, for the weekend so yeah so I'll see you guys in a bit This is where I'm going to close off my self-care maintenance weekend. So with just this little twist braid out. Um yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And if you like this type of video, let me know. I can definitely go more in depth, but I was just giving you a little icing on the cake. And you guys bye.